coal mining and abandoned mines are responsible for roughly 12% of global anthropogenic methane emissions, even before accounting for coal's staggering carbon dioxide emissions resulting from combustion. Coal being mined today was formed as plants grew, died, and accumulated in ancient marshland. The swampy ground eventually submerged and the organic materials compacted as they became deeply buried over millions of years. The plant material converted to coal, while water, methane, and other gases became trapped in the subsurface of the coal and surrounding rocks that we find in many of today's surface and underground coal mines. But how does it emit methane? Massive quantities of methane in or near coal seams are released during mining operations. While both underground and surface mines emit methane during production, underground mines typically emit more methane due to the depth and type of coal. Some of the world's gaseous mines can emit 67 times more methane than other mines with similar productivity, regardless of size. In all underground mines, large volumes of air are circulated through the mine to introduce fresh air and remove dust, as methane and other hazardous gases seep into the mine from the surrounding coal and rock layers during mine development and coal production. This ventilation air methane, or VAM, represents the single largest source of methane emissions from coal mines globally. Some mines are so gassy that ventilation systems alone cannot keep miners safe. In those situations, holes are bored into the coal and surrounding strata rocks to drain methane and transport it to the surface, and is often released into the atmosphere. Even after closure, mines can continue to release methane for decades. Recent studies indicate that global methane emissions from abandoned mines are on the rise, and that overall emissions estimates likely underestimate how much methane abandoned mines are emitting. The good news? We can tackle this. We have the technology to capture and utilize methane from both active and abandoned mines, and we know that it works. With stronger regulations and enforcement today, we can dramatically reduce methane emissions from the coal sector and reduce global warming as we transition our global energy system to cleaner generation.